So what has it been like these last three months living in Saigon? Well, it's been pretty crazy, honestly. And I wish I would have taken videos at the time so I don't have to fake the excitement. But honestly, I don't think I'm gonna have to. So first, let me say it's been very, very exciting. This country is super developing very quickly. It's got a lot of its old traditions and culture and food that's getting mixed in with this modern twist. And like the holidays, for instance, Christmas is a big thing now. Halloween is a big thing. And even in the background, you can hear they're getting ready for their big Ted holiday and they're bumping some rap or something right there. So there's a lot of excitement mixed with their strong traditions and especially their food. You know, they're stuck in their ways, which I think is a great thing. And it's great as a foreigner to come and experience. Another beautiful, beautiful thing about Ho Chi Minh City is the architecture. Here I'm in the Win Way, which is one of their main streets here. And behind, I, I believe this is one of their government buildings. And they got the Ho Chi Minh statue right there. And, uh, and it's lovely. I believe it's a lot of French inspired stuff and it's so nice. And throughout the city, you'll see little nooks and coves with these beautiful little buildings and coffee shops with vines hanging down on them. Another cool thing about Saigon too is they have Japantown. They got these little alleys that I'm in right now. They have all these cool little restaurants and little massage parlors. Beautiful women, lots of tourists, and great Japanese food. And actually at a very, very affordable price. Actually, I've eaten here before. And that was a great spot. I enjoyed it. It was very good. In District 7, they have Koreatown, which I don't have footage of, but it's just a bunch of Korean restaurants and Korean businesses. You know, one of the most shocking things that I came across when I came to Saigon was the coffee shops here. Right here is uh, Cafe Trung, which is like an egg coffee, which if you haven't had, by the way, I've heard many people say mixed reviews online, and this stuff is ridiculous. It is so delicious. They use an egg yolk as the fat for the cream, and they put like some vanilla, some sugar, and it has this crazy flavor that's very delicious, super balanced, and just some of the best coffee drinks I've ever had in my entire life have been here in Saigon. And this is just one of the many, many different coffee shops. And actually I'm going to make a coffee shop series here in Saigon because there's too many. I don't have a choice. There's too many cool, interesting, different coffee shops. And the Vietnamese people love to chill at coffee shops. It's a real coffee shop culture here. So for the coffee lovers, it's seriously worth coming to Vietnam just for the coffee. And they also produce a lot of their own coffee as well. You know, another really, really awesome thing about Ho Chi Minh City is the growth here. This building that you see behind me is the largest building in Southeast Asia. And believe it or not, it wasn't finished building until like 2016 or 17, fairly new. Also this bridge, which connects District 2 to District 1, just opened this year, just a few months ago. And the growth is insane and the city is just booming. And even supposedly these high rises here, 10, 15 years ago, some of them weren't there. So the city is just on a super steep incline, a tremendous amount of growth. The attitude and spirit here, I think dictates that because there's just so much booming. Everything is just booming here, growing and building and exciting. Everything's new and exciting here. And you can feel that in the culture and in the city here. So I'm now here on that bridge and as you can see, I was right there before. And this is the central business district right here, D1. And on the other side, Landmark 81. So here's the Saigon River. And this is District 1, and this is District 2. And actually all these buildings behind me, they're developing right now. And supposedly they're gonna, it's gonna be essentially like the new city center. And they're developing a, a convention center that they're putting there. And you can see all the new sky, sky rises, that high rises that are going up for a new like luxury apartments basically. And one of the final things, which is pretty obvious and a lot of people know is the traffic here in Saigon. The traffic here is crazy. And actually it's funny because I just say that and it starts to die down. But during rush hour here is insane. I think some other big cities are similar, but I mean, there's scooters galore. It's like the, it's like the city of scooters and 
even with as many scooters as there are, it gets extremely congested and ruthless, really. I mean, it's like, uh, it's a free-for-all. Vietnamese people are very nice, but for whatever reason in traffic, there's like a lot of stuff goes out the window. You know, everybody tries to get that extra inch. If you come to Ho Chi Minh City, I definitely recommend renting a scooter. It is a little tough to drive, but you can also take the Grab motorbikes and you essentially just hop on, hop on the back and it's a motorbike taxi. And that's a great way to see, see the city too. And I did that for the first month. So traffic here is intense, but it is fun and it's the best way to see the city. In my opinion, that's the best way to see any city when you travel. So if you're thinking about coming to Ho Chi Minh City, but you're on the rocks, you're thinking, I don't know if I wanna go there. They don't speak a lot of English. Um, I don't know if the city's developed. Whatever, your, there's too much pollution, whatever, whatever your reasoning is, you definitely should. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. There's great weather, friendly people, and this is essentially the New York City of Vietnam. So you get all the different cuisines from all over the country, and you know I love food and you get all the different kind of inputs you know the different uh, cultural differences all throughout the country come here and i hate to mention it but i gotta mention it 70 percent of youtube is men a lot of beautiful women a lot of beautiful women in ho chi minh city and very reasonable too and extremely reasonable i hope you come come to ho chi minh city come to vietnam we'll see you here thank you for watching and we'll see you next time